the um, racial, ethnic, and diversity class. So I took his African American history course. I had him for English 024 about three years ago. We met at the beginning of this semester. He is my professor for English 102. He's a great professor, like how he approaches the material, like he makes it interesting. He just makes it open for everyone to discuss what's going on. He's more like, he comes across like he wants to teach you a lot better than some of the other professors I've had. In class, he's awesome. Um, like I said in the last interview, he had, he's not even my advisor and he's always invited me to his office to try to help me stay on the right path, try to help me get to the point to after graduation what I'm going to be doing. And he's just, he's been very helpful. I had a problem with alcoholism and he had basically like a psychiatrist type of role, like just trying to say you're doing the right thing by coming to school. Just he's basically been that contact. So if I feel like I'm going to go on the wrong path to reach out to him and he'll help me stay in school, stay doing the right thing. I really felt like he got us involved in like the study of it all. Like it was really interesting like how he taught us. And like I learned a lot of new stuff from him. So like the way he taught, I feel like it really worked. He was really laid back. Like he he got his work done and like he he was uh serious when he had to be. But at other times it was like he would he would uh make us laugh before class, like have us like lively before class started just to get the ball going. I just feel like he he's a really good guy and he's a great teacher. And he he puts he puts effort into his teaching, like you know, other teachers, like they come here, they'll teach, but then like after that, they'll just they'll just leave you alone. But I feel like he puts in like the extra effort, and he tells you straight up, like, this is a course, like, I don't know if you need it, I don't know if you don't need it, but come here, learn something. Like you're paying your money, so you might as well learn something for it. So I feel like he he gives like a good outlook on class and like how you should come to school. He seemed very decent. Um, I could understand uh, and grasp what he was talking about. And when I had problems, he was he was always there to like to, uh, to help me out, go through those problems, and make my learning more good. If I needed like assistance on my grading and stuff, he would always like break down the grading. He's pretty laid back, laid back, cool type of teacher. He helps me with everything I need. He teaches me so much. I couldn't ask for a better professor. I see him in class. I talk to him every once in a while, small talk. But from what I see him, he seems to be a stand-up man, a gentleman. These allegations came out, and you know, to be honest, we're gonna cut to the chase, because this is what you want for your interview. <sighs> I don't really think it's any of our business, to be honest. He has taught me so much, and I judge him as from what I know him. You know, if these are true or not, it's really not my business, it's not anybody's business. I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, what they say about his girlfriend, his past jobs. I mean, they try to say he's not a professor. Regardless, I consider him a, pro or a doctor, excuse me, they claim he's not a doctor. Regardless, I look at him as a doctor. He's so smart, this man. Very good guy. I got a couple calls at eight o'clock in the morning saying, Anthony, Anthony, look online, something about your professor. I said, well, all right. I logged on there and there were the allegations with his girlfriend his job with the African Studies program. I mean, I know about all this, but uh, if it's true or not, I really doesn't bother me. I look at this man and how much he taught me. I think he's a great guy. It really hasn't, because uh, I look at him from what I know of him in the class. I only judge him from what I know personally. I mean, they're outside sources, but they could be doctored. I know these journalists have a way with doctoring things. So, uh, well, I just, it doesn't really bother me at all. It doesn't phase me. This is Jason Rogers. Erbil, Jean. Emmanuel Perra. Anthony Maimon. Very active in the community. I'm a uh, member of the Repub Republican Party. I work about three jobs and I'm a Catholic minister.